Hello guys and welcome to the 9 episode. In the last episode we have implemented our time trail mode. So today we will start looking at implementing the survival game mode. So we will have uh, 3 lives and then we will have to guess as many flags as we can. And every time we make mistake we are gonna take out one life. When you don't have any more lives the game over screen will pop up, pops up. So let's get started. Open our project. Go to the scenes and open the pick menu scene. So inside our canvas, last time we have created the game mode panel. Let's activate it quickly. And then we will add another button to it. Right click on this game mode panel, UI, button. And then I will name this uh, button survival. Survival, okay. So we don't need the text, so I will just remove the text component from it because we don't need it. Okay, then click on this button and inside our asset we have our buttons in the in the game mode folder. So let's apply this graphic. So inside the game mode we have a survival game button. Just uh, select it and drag and drop inside our source image. Okay, so we have uh, have it applied. So I will change the width to 320 and the height to 80. Okay. I think the position for this button will be fine for now. So now we need to apply the behavior for this button. So let's quickly save this scene. And then I will go to the scripts folder and then open the main menu button script. So in our menu button script I will create new function will be public void start start survival game okay uh, and then first of all we want to we want to set the correct game mode so game settings dot instance dot set game mode and we will pass uh, the survival game mode but we don't have that enum created yet so let's quickly open the game settings and then we need to add uh, right at the top in our e game mode we need to add another enum so i will call survival survival mode okay Okay, let's switch back to the main uh, to the menu buttons, and then we can pass now with this argument. Uh, so game settings dot e game mode dot survival survival mode. Okay, so we're gonna set this enum in, and then we want to load the scene. So I just copy this this line from above. So load the scene, and we want to get the correct name of the scene. Okay, let's save everything. And now we can switch back to the Unity. And in our bottom survival, which we just created. So in on click event, we want to add new, new item. And then runtime only, I will drag and drop the main camera into this field. And then from the functions, just find the menu buttons and then I will select the start survival game. Okay, so that's that's it for for this button. Let's uh, click on the game mode panel and deactivate this panel. And then let's save the scene. Okay, go back to the main menu. And let's quickly test if this scene is working, uh, if this mode is working. So play Europe survival. Okay, the game is starting, but nothing has happened. Um, okay, so now we need to add the hertz uh, right at the top of the screen. So I will open the game scene and then in our game scene we will have to add um, the hearts. Okay, so I will add a new component. Just right click in empty space and then create empty. And I will call this component heart. Okay, then we need to add the sprite render component. So sprite renderer and we need to apply the sprite 
So our her hearts are in the items heart and here is the heart texture. So I'll just drag and drop this heart into the sprite and then I will set the scale for it. So it's going to be 0, 7 and then 0, 7. Okay, we need to just manipulate the position. So this heart will be, let's say, will be here, and then are we are we just gonna duplicate this order twice, uh, this uh, this item twice? So heart one and heart two. So the heart one will be at the same x, uh, sorry, the same y, but we will change the x position, and heart two will be will be exactly the same. So we have the three hearts here. Okay, I think it looks good. You can change the size of this heart, it doesn't really matter for this at this point. So what I will do now, I will just select all of these hearts and then deactivate them. Right, let's save the scene now. Okay, so we have our hearts, but they need to be activated whenever we select the correct mode. So we need to add another script. So go inside the scripts folder. Okay, and right click, create C sharp script. I will call it survival. Survival lives. Okay, let's open the script. Okay, the first thing we want to do is um, we want to we want to create some public variables. The uh, first one will be the list of the of the hearts. So public list uh, game game object hearts okay now will be public game object and this is going to be game over panel game over panel okay the next the next one will be the private int life number I will set it to three because we have a three hertz okay so in our start method uh, I will just set this life's number to be equal to three again and then uh, if if game settings dot instance dot get game mode will be equal to game settings dot e game mode dot survival mode then we want to uh, call this dot enable is equal to true and then we want to loop through all of the hearts so for each uh, game object g in hertz uh, we want to do g dot set active will be true so we want to show the show the hearts okay uh, otherwise, if we are not in this uh, in, in this game mode, in the correct game mode, so else we want to do this dot enabled will be equal to false. So now let's add a few helper functions. So let's uh, right at the be bottom, I will create function public void. Remove remove life. Okay, and then we want to do if life number is more than zero. So if we still have some lives, we want to do life number minus minus. So we want to take out one life and then hurt life number dot set active will be false okay 
So by doing this one, we want to deactivate the one heard from the list, the last one. So in case if the life number would be equal to zero, so we don't have any more lives, just show the game over panel. So I will copy this game over panel dot set active will be equal to true. Okay, so if there is no more life, we want to show the game over and the game will be over. We actually want to do one more thing. Uh, we want to get this, um, we want to actually inform our logic that the game is over because we do not have any more lives. So we need to have a reference to our current game data. So I will add just private current game data m underscore game game data okay and we just get the reference in our start method right at the uh, right at the bottom we're gonna call it m underscore game data would be equal to uh, game object dot find uh, and as I remember correctly that was a game data object dot get component uh, current game data we want to take this one as current as current game data okay and then whenever we removing our lives if the lives number is equal to zero we want to do current game data dot set set game over okay so we want to inform the logic that the game is over Okay, so there is uh, one more thing which we need to do is we need to add this, uh, we need to call this function from somewhere. So we're going to call it from our flag script. So open our flag script and then on mouse down button, on mouse down function, whenever we activated the wrong texture, so we made a mistake, we want to we wanna check uh, if we are in the game mode, if, if we are in the survival game mode. So if game settings dot instance dot get game mode will be equal to game settings dot e game mode dot survival mode if you are if we are in this mode we want to remove our lives but we need to have a reference to our survival lives game object so to do it we will create a one more variable right at the top of the script so scroll scroll to the top and uh, we add private survival lives so we're gonna get the name of the script and then i will call it m survival lives okay and then we want to populate, we want to actually get a reference, initialize this variable in the start. So survival lives will be equal to uh, game object dot find. And we want to find the main camera dot get component. Uh, survival survival lives as survival lives okay so we wanna because this this script will be attached to the to the main camera so we want to get the main camera and we want to get the script so we have a survival lives reference now so now inside our on mouse down uh, function if we are in the survival game mode we want to call survival lives dot remove remove life okay okay let's save everything and go back to the unity we will have to do one more uh, one more thing so we need to inside our, inside our main camera we want to get the survival lives script and drag and drop it on the main camera okay and then in our hertz uh, we set the size of the of the hertz to be equal to three and then press enter so we have our three elements and now I will get the first heart to on the first element, second heart on the second, and the third one on the third. Okay. 
and then we need to reference to our game over uh, game over panel so we have our game over from the previous episode which we created so under our canvas we have a game over panel so just grab it and uh, just drag and drop it over here okay i think we are ready to test this game so let's save this scene now switch back to the main menu press play play and then south america survival okay and then whenever we select something we made mistake we made mistake as you see the lives are removed okay we cannot play the game anymore and we have our scores okay so there is one thing uh, which I forgot to do in our scenes uh, pick menu under the canvas on the game mode panel uh, we forgot to add the uh, the color whenever uh, whenever we are over the button so I will select just the previous button which we created uh, get the highlighted color and copy this hexadecimal value and I will just put this value in in the newly created button on the highlight okay and on select okay so the the buttons are highlighted now okay let's uh, deactivate this game model panel so we see all of our buttons save the scene switch back to the main menu and just do the quickly last test so play Osania survival if we guess something the, the, the hearts are not disappearing but if we make mistake yeah we have our game over panel okay so that's it for this episode so in the next episode we will implement the short game question uh, mode which is going which is going to be last mode in our game uh, so thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode